guys, so I'm back. I'm at the table at this boisterous and wonderful dim sum restaurant. Uh, here with the nice people at the table. And uh, Hung says it's okay for me to uh, shoot a little video here. I don't want to annoy anybody or bother anybody, but I want to show you guys what we're having for breakfast. Right here, Guang Kong Matim Gong. Hmm? No, no, no. You're mumbling because you have stuff in your mouth. Tao Sa Wo Bang. Oh, Tao Sa Wo Bang. So it's a red, red bean. Mm, red bean paste. Red bean paste. Tao Sa. And have the pancake. Wo Bang with a, a pancake. Uh, and, and the pancake, unfortunately for me, actually has uh, gai dan, has eggs in it, chicken eggs. I'm slightly allergic, it's but style. it's quite amazing. It's a Shanghainese style. It's actually like a crepe, is basically what it would be in the U.S. Sort of um, a Shanghainese style crepe with red bean paste. This here is, uh, this is a sable, how do you say this? Sable chat. Sable chat. It's a four treasures. Inside of uh, what kind? Is a tofu wrap? No, no, it's a, just a oh, rice yeah. a tofu wrap. So it's a fupei, uh, fupei wrap, but not a fupei green. This is a this is tofu skin. Inside is is uh, chicken gaiok. Uh, pig skin is uh, chu chu uh, chu pei, right? Uh, taro wu pao and to my uh, gaga uh, hai right? Like uh, fake crab meat. And uh, it's a traditional um, dim sum. This is uh, uh, hai zage, uh, right? So deep fried. Oh, it's steam. Okay, think that. So this is steam, not deep fried. I thought it was, steam. I thought it was going to be deep fried, be somewhat unhealthy, but it's not. This is pai guo to my wu tao. So this is little pork uh, bones, like little pork rib knuckle thingies with. Um, uh, with um, taro, right? Little piece of taro. Then over here, this is uh, what is this one? Wonton. No, this is wonton, wonton, uh, wonton pong, right? Like wonton soup, a wonton uh, uh, soup. Over here in the center is one of my favorites. So it's a choy sum. It's ho yao choy sum. Uh, ho yao choy sum, which is um, uh, choy sum, the flowering Chinese green cabbage with um, oy, uh, oyster sauce, which is very nice. This is the lat yao, uh, which is uh, hot oil. It's uh, sort of like the same uh, peppers that's used and you put on top of pizza in the U.S., but then they mix it with oil and all kinds of other stuff. It's very, very spicy. I put it on stuff as if it was like uh, butter back in uh, in New York's uh, Tongyang Guy, in New York's Chinatown. It's quite amazing. Um, and this place is no exception. That's chung fan, right? The chung fan, which is a rolled, um, sort of like a rolled rice crepe, and inside is a little miniature shrimp, and what else? And scallion. Uh, what else do we have on the table? We have this. It's a Shanghainese style, uh, very spicy. Well, it's supposed to be spicy, but it's not really uh, noodle soup type thing, right? Right. This yeah. comes uh, like the. Um with the peanut sauce with a what kind of sauce? Peanut. Peanut sauce. a peanut butter sauce okay I thought it wasn't spicy at all but they were telling me it was going to be spicy um, that's about it that's on the table right now uh, we were drinking uh, um, I know I'm not supposed to pour myself right so uh, I show you guys what you're supposed to do when uh, is that the tea can you pour for me and I'll show them the or should I let somebody else? Is that because uh, that's a different guy? That's water. Huh? Oh, that's water. So, um, so when you ask for the tea, you go like this on the table, and this is comes back to a story where there was like an emperor, right? And, and, and he was traveling around, and he didn't want the people to know he was the emperor. Am I right? Yeah. So, uh, but, but uh, the, you know, he wasn't allowed to serve himself. So his servants who were traveling incognito with him also, they served him and they wanted to bow to him, but they weren't allowed to bow because he didn't want to be recognized among the people in the village, right? So he said instead of bowing, they would go like this with their fingers, which would symbolize bowing. Can you guys see that? Instead of bowing, they go like this. So now it's a tradition when somebody else, you're not supposed to pour your own tea at the dim sum, correct? Somebody else is supposed to pour the tea for you at the table, and when they do, you're supposed to go like this on the table, which symbolizes that you're appreciating them, you want the tea, and you're bowing to them, sort of, thank you for pouring me the tea. Correct, Tom? I got that right. That's good. This particular kind of tea that we're drinking today is a very nice color. You see very rich, sort of orangish color. What is it called again? Salmei. It's Salmei. There's also bole ta on the table, right? And the bole ta we call in English pu er, right? And that's a Mandarin term, a bole. I like that one too, but the salme is very nice. Hung tells me it's sort of between green and black, kind of, right? Mm -hmm. 
And uh, that's about it for what's on our table now. Just gonna scan around the table again. You can see these nice people in Hung's family that we're eating with. And just a little bit more around the restaurant. Oh, yeah, that's fun. And uh, again, this is uh, part two of the video on my traditional Chinese dim sum breakfast here. Uh, it's probably around 11.30 a.m. or something. Look at this beautiful backyard with the dragons, uh, the little, uh, that's a uh, Sunny and Philok, uh, uh little people, right? Kind of uh, wishing noon. The decorations. Jongsik, right? Jongsik. Decorations. A uh, little dragon guy over there. Just look how nice this place is. They got the chandeliers on the ceiling. Really nice atmosphere. I'm going to shut this off for right now. Maybe we'll shoot another video soon. Hopefully you can hear this. It's very boisterous here. You can hear how loud it is. Very exciting time here. Traditional Chinese dim sum breakfast in the new territories in Hong Kong. Talk to you guys in just a little while.